This video pertains to Bearded's SCPF, also known as SCP Foundation. SCPF stands for Special Containment Procedures Foundation. Area 14 is an SCP roleplay game located on the Roblox platform. The premise revolves around living out a fictional career in a serious roleplay setting. Area 14 itself is an old game. It was created four years ago and is soon to be replaced by an unnamed site currently referred to as Project Novus within the community. After joining the game, you find yourself spawning in as a Class D. Walking out of your cell, you notice a Class D testing request board. If you press and hold the button E, it places you on this board. By having your name on this board, wherever you are in the line, it places you in line for testing or for other events or procedures. These include but are not limited to scientific department tests, medical department checkups, Department of External Affairs tours, or Ethics Committee interviews. Once your name is at the top of the list, that means you are next in line for testing or other procedures. At this point, all you have to do is wait for somebody with the proper clearance to host an event or procedure. Once this happens, you will be selected and brought along for this procedure. However, we are not going to explore the Class D side of Area 14. This video will serve as a tutorial on how to introduce yourself to the SCP genre or simply Area 14 as a whole. By clicking on the group page, you may go directly to the application center. In order to join the game, you must first join the group. After you have done that, you find yourself in the application center. From here, you can apply for level 0. In order to know if you are accepted or not, and to receive updates, general communication, you should join the Discord server located on the group page. Without being in the Discord server, you cannot function as a member of the foundation. The process for applying Applying for higher levels is similar. You can apply for level 1 and level 2. Level 3 and level 4 are not applicable. Level 1 gives you limited access to the foundation as a whole. From there, you can apply for the scientific and medical departments, as well as the engineering and technical services. The scientific department is the foundation's primary research department. The members of the scientific department regular host testing procedures in which they aim to discover more about an SCP. An SCP is a supernatural or anomalous object. The medical department, as you may have guessed, deals with the health of Foundation members. They regularly host checkups in which they ask a series of questions, note down your stats, give you physical tasks to complete, and finally give you your results. The Engineering and Technical Services is a department that specializes in repairing various machines or otherwise facilities around the site. Their primary duties include fixing broken vent covers which fall off of the wall, repairing the observation room window, fixing the foundation's toilets, maintaining the reactor cores, as well as inspecting SCP chambers, the rest of the site, to ensure everything is being used efficiently. Once you reach the level 2, you are permitted to enter the observation room as well as spectate scientific department tests. As a level 1, you could only spectate ethics committee questionings or medical department checkups. Keep in mind, you can only spectate should the host of a procedure allow you to. Also as a level 2, you may join the security department. The security department is responsible for ensuring the site's security at all times and are primarily stationed within the test subject containment area. They will be the first people you see when you join the site as a class D for the first time. Their duties are relatively simple. They escort testing procedures or otherwise events, and they ensure that all Class D are following the assigned rules. Now, as an official member of the Foundation, starting from level 0 all the way up to level 4, you are bound by regulation outlined in the Foundation's penal code. This can be found in the main server under the Information Channel. There is also the Universal Information Document, which goes over the various aspects of the site and the Foundation. These documents both can be a valuable resource. However, the Foundation's Penal Code holds all official general regulation for the Foundation. Within it, you will find the Foundation's Firearm Regulation, as well as a variety of other regulation, including which zones you can access, which areas you can enter, and how you can interact with them. Level 3 personnel regularly read Level 0 and Level 1 applications. Once yours has been read, which can take up to 48 hours, the results will be posted within this channel, the feedback channel, 
of the main server. If your application has not been read within 48 hours, you may contact a level 3. On the other hand, level 4 personnel handle level 2 applications. Departmental applications are handled by the respective departmental hide command, so if within 48 hours your application has not been read, DM the proper authorities. If you ever have any questions, feel free to ask them in the main communications channel of the Discord server. Please do note that you cannot ask for application answers. You must come up with your own answers for all application questions. Alright, well, I hope I helped you introduce yourself to the Foundation in Area 14. If you ever want to ask me a question personally, feel free to DM me. My Discord tag is shown below. However, I highly encourage you to try to figure out things yourself. I've found that's the best way to fully understand the Foundation. As you progress, you will learn more about different departments, apart from those that have been already mentioned, and you will learn more in-depth details about the community. Our community is one of the oldest SCP Roblox communities that are currently on the platform. With that, of course, comes an old player base. Our player base consists of those who have been with us for over five years to those who have just recently joined. Anyways, I appreciate you watching this video and I hope it did help.